Whoa, whoa. Okay. Balance yourself, please. This is Alright. Very pretty. Pretty. Grab the ice balls. Can I run on the ice? Yes. Yes. Is it slippery? No, not really. But it's pretty. It's pretty nice. It's weird because some of the things are kind of high quality. Like this ice here. I even have a shadow here and the shine on it. Like the texture on it is really good. But then you see this uh, rock here and you're like, huh? <laughs> what? What happened? It seems like the developer used a lot of utilities and then some of them were made differently. Like some of them are taken and some of them he made himself, maybe. Or she, I don't know the developer's name or person. But it kind of seems to me like this texture is grabbed and then these are added but they didn't have the texture so they're just kind of put in and not really given a texture. And the same with the wolf is also very textureless. It's interesting. Weird in a way. It, it, it breaks a bit of the, the continuity in the game. So you see the ground and you see a rock that's like really low poly and you're like, uh, what? See, if you see dirt here and you're like, that's dirt, you know, that's dirt. And then you go out here and you're like, that's, oh, that's just white. <laughs> and here you can see where it's like kind of stitched together, right? So it's, it's weird. It, some parts seems underdone and some parts seems overdone compared to the underdone parts. But if this was the first time, if this is his first game or her, this, this is their first game, then I can't really, like, how can I, how can I be uh, um, upset about that? You know, it's a pretty enough environment just to run around with, it looks good. From a distance like that, just running through. It's only when you get closer to things that you're like, huh? <laughs> That's off. But yeah, other than that, it's good. The lighting is good. Yeah, it's alright. But a very huge game for being this type of quality, this standard. Like 9 gigabytes is humongous. It really threw me off. Because I bought the game and I was like, I'm just gonna play it, I'm just gonna roll straight into it. And then I was like, 9 gigabytes, it will be done in one hour. And I was like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Because similar games like this I have played are a lot smaller, or not as large at all. Um, but I mean, I suppose this is kind of heavy when it's an open world. Kind of, it's like that, like these environments are still here, even when I'm not exploring them. There was this thing up here. I'm gonna check out. It might just be a sacrifice spot, but I don't really want to sacrifice. What happened? Oh, Wowza. Okay. Damn. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm going through it. I'm going through. Woohoo! What? Ah. I'm in a cave again! Goddamn cave. Because see, then you come to an environment like this. And you wonder, how is this the same as where we just were? Because that environment was super impressive with the trees and the ice and everything. And here you're like, this looks like a The further a test. I go, the more I feel the connection between me and David. This force is calling me even more persistently. Oh, David, I don't know what's waiting for us ahead. But I'm glad I'm going along this path with you. And no matter what it'd be, I'll always be next to you from the beginning until the end. 
Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Are we coming close to the end? I don't understand anything. <laughs> running a runny, running my running, running my runny, little pup puppy. You can do it. This freaking fall down is gross. Freaking water and crap. Can I go in here? No, it's just ice. We're going to Iceland now. Ho ho. <laughs> yes, yes. Ugh. It's cold. Nice. I wish it was cold here because I'm sweating so much. It's funny when you when like when it's summer and you're like, oh, it's so freaking hot. I want it to be winter. And then it's winter and like, oh, it's so cold and dark. I want it to be summer. <laughs> you can never just be satisfied, can you? Freaking Hi, David. existence. Hi, ah. Dad. I didn't expect you to call. Oh my god. Just wanted to know how have you been doing lately. Well, it's not bad. I graduated from college, and now I'm thinking about where I should work. What about you? That's good news. I'm fine, thanks, son. Time flies by so fast. Seems like it was only yesterday that we sent you to school with your mom. Now you're looking for a job. Got any ideas where you'd like to work? I got a couple. I always wanted to work at some studio as a junior designer, and then we'll see how it goes. I see you thought everything through. I'm proud of you, son. Well, I thought that you wanted me to make another career, like in politics or being a lawyer. You've always been saying that. Yeah, you're right, son. And I was wrong. I demanded too much from you and didn't think about what you really wanted. Your mom was always right about it, but I didn't want to listen to her. Thought I did everything right. I'm sorry, son. Sooner or later, everyone realizes how wrong they were. I understand, Dad. You were right up to a point. I missed you. We missed you. Mom did well, but sometimes I needed a father's advice. Now I don't need it that much, but thanks for calling anyway. It means a lot to me. I understand that I missed a lot and couldn't fully participate in raising you and your mother, woman of spirit, partly took my place. But I miss you, son. Do you mind if I call you again? Sure, Dad. Call me anytime you want. Thanks, David. I love you, son. No matter how strange it may sound from your ever-busy father. You're right. I do know. Ah, I feel some tension in the air. It's a good thing that the father is willing to get in touch with his son. The divorce affected him deeply. It's never too late to try and fix broken relationships and mistakes, but one needs courage for that. It'll probably take some time for David's father. But the main thing is the intention to fix everything. Hmm. I guess, yeah. Um, kind of sad though that the dad doesn't even know his son graduated from college. He just missed that. That's sad. The first present from a girlfriend. It will always Ooh. be the first and the dearest, especially if this girl is your first love. It seems so to David, until he met the one and only. So what, is he still with Elizabeth or did he meet someone else? I don't know. I checked your resume. So, you graduated from college recently, right? Yes, that's correct. Did you work alongside your studies? I did work when I had time. And I work now, here and there, when I get the chance. Judging by your resume, you appear to be qualified for the position of junior designer. If you prove yourself, you get a promotion and eventually career growth. We can provide such an opportunity. Besides, I see you're an aspiring young man. There's only one question left on my mind. Do you yourself think you are fit for this job? Certainly I do. I was studying at college for four years for that and this is in my resume. 
I've always wanted to become a designer. I understand that I don't have the experience as a designer, especially in IT, but I'm sure I can handle it. All right, then. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thanks, sir. I don't know what to say. Nothing comes to mind. You don't have to say anything. Come tomorrow at night. We are a friendly team. We'll show you everything here. I hope you'll pull together with the rest of the team. We are all a little bit weird here. Okay. Thank you. I'll be here right at 9 a.m. Great. David got employed at his first serious job. They're still there. They normally go away. Okay, now they went away. Okay. I think I missed balls. I have to go back. Because it seems like the way forward and there was another path. And I have to check the balls. I'm sorry. Um, it's definitely the wrong way. Oh my god, my balls. My balls. Is this the way? Okay, sorry. I was confused. I thought he wouldn't let me get the balls. Like, where's the story going? <laughs> is it like... Eh? What is the moral? Get get the education, but despite of your hardships, get the work, get the job, get the woman, get the baby, mend stuff with your father. What is going on? I don't know. It is a weird, <laughs> constructed world. Okay, okay. Is there anything here? Oh my god, there's nothing here. I went back for nothing. See, this is like it looks like something is hidden here. But there is absolutely nothing, nothing here at all, nothing, nada, zip. Alright, so that's annoying. So go here and go here, because then if you do decide to then not check this things is the out, wrong way. well excuse me, I was just looking, uh, then you might miss something, because sometimes there is something, it's just frustrating, but you know, I'll just check it, so I'll check it. Can I go down there? I think it's the wrong way. Okay, it's literally just a freaking corner. Can you stop? Can you stoop with that? Let's go here. Let's go. Ah. Okay. It's definitely the wrong way. Listen, you. I'm literally on the path. That needs to be fixed. I'm literally just looking around. Do not tell me it's the wrong way, because it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Okay, just to go straight ahead and follow the path. So he won't scold us again. Crap. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And then we go here. Ha uh -huh. Grab. And then grab this. And then. You wanted to talk to me. No. I remember you telling me that if I work hard, I'll get a promotion. And you see how hard I work, but you still haven't offered me any. Although you promised me that opportunity many times. Why? David, I understand your irritation. You deserved a promotion long ago. But these are not the best time for the company. Many projects were simply canceled. People are leaving the studio, not willing to endure the difficult situation. Why don't you assign me to the position of somebody who wasn't willing to endure the difficult situation? Why do you promote anyone but me? David, you must understand that these people have worked here longer than you, and they've been waiting for their promotion too. So you're saying that I have to wait in line to get a promotion until I get old? Is that correct? David, work harder than the others, and one day you... I've been listening to this for years. I've had enough of this. I'm afraid I'll have to follow the others who left the company. There's no need to overreact so much, David. You promised me! And now you're saying that I should wait a little longer until the company will be on track again? I'm sorry, but I don't see any opportunities for the career growth in your company. Thank you for the experience I gained working here. Okay, David. I respect your decision. Thank you for all the work you've done in our company. Jesus. 
The boss was so unfair to David. At first he promised that if David worked hard, he'd have got the promotion. And now he said that he can't give it to him because of some line. It angers me to no end. The heck are you talking about, man? He can't. It's not his fault that the company is struggling. The world is unpredictable and you can get in financial peril easily. So if your company is suffering a lot, you won't, you you don't have money to give someone a promotion. That's understandable. I understand the frustration in David, but you have to be realistic and understand that sometimes these things are out of uh his boss's hands and he's just trying to make the company need to survive like there's no need to be so pissed about it it's fine if you want to leave them because oh you don't want to go down with a sinking ship or you don't want to wait too much that's fine but don't be a dick about it i mean gotta you know be realistic about these things because running a company in real life is brutal it's like a battle so, I don't think you should be so pissed, Mr. Wolfie. What's this? What happened? It's a and then it's, it came to life. Okay. I'm guessing there will be more. Yeah, there is more. Can I jump into this? Uh, I think it's ravine? the wrong way. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Oh, M and R. Oh, I need the other one. Is it this way? Run, run. If it's not in here, I have to go back. Okay. Well, damn you! I have to go back then. Jeez. Instructions unclear. I got ears stuck in shredder. Now I have no ears. Oh, here it is. I don't know why I decided to go with that, but it's just I looked at the wolf ears and I was like, yeah, they can get stuck in stuff, and that was just <laughs> first example. I guess. Hello, let me in. Pause, pause, pause. Pause, 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 pause. pause. Boss, 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 boss. I got an achievement for collecting balls. Heck yeah. Big win. Big balls. Alright, go here. What's on your mind, David? You invited me to this restaurant? Everything is so ridiculously expensive here. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the moment, sweetie. This evening is all about you. You're making me feel embarrassed, David. I think that sooner or later, this embarrassing day had to come. I found this idea with the restaurant pretty weird from the beginning. Everything is suspicious. Is he gonna propose? David, what is this about? Dear Elizabeth Raywell, for all the years of living together, and even not living together, Oh my god, the animation. You endowed my life with happiness and meaning. And all these years, I've been waiting for this moment when I would get down on one knee and ask for your hand. Will you be my other half who will compliment me the rest of my life? Oh, she's grinding on him. Oh my god. Yes. His arm is in her crutch. <laughs> I'm very happy with you. I love you too. No. David planned everything well. A little more than Elizabeth would have fainted. She seemed to be nervous more than David. Fortunately, everything went fine. Okay, stop recapping what we just saw. Okay. Yo, are crunching me the F out. Alright. Jump. Jump around. Check for secrets because I'm still trying for some reason. And I'm still thinking that there will be something, but there's not. Okay, so he, Mary, Elizabeth. So they stay together. Forever. Childhood sweethearts. Alright, let's um, grab some more balls. 
I thought I could crack. Oh, I can. I thought I could scratch them. Okay. I mean, cool. I think I can fall down. Oh, I have to fall down to get that. Why do I get up, though? <sighs> so be it. Geronimo! Can I get up here? Okay, cool, cool. Okay, just get this. Get this secret. I would have missed this if they didn't show it to me. Scratch, 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 scratch. Paper? A Mother's Day postcard. David did it. It's definitely the wrong way. A special one. His mother really liked this present because she actually saw him diligently making it in his room. Ah, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Um, I could check up there, but I'm just gonna grab this board. I think it's the best thing to do. Alright, balls. Where am I? Because, I mean, I could check this way, but I don't think there's anything here. No, there's not gonna be anything. So I'll not be tricked by you again, game. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. Yeah, come on. Run, little wolfie. Run, little wolfie. I see a ball. Okay, go to the ball. Forget everything else and just go to the ball. Yes, more balls. Stay on track with the balls. Wait, there was something here. Scratch, 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 scratch. Whoa. Bye -bye. David's okay. first PC. Oh. Not everyone had such a powerful computing machine. After his parents' divorce, he got this monster almost instantly. <laughs> Although they didn't have enough money, it was a great concern to his mother that David wouldn't sink in thoughts about his family falling apart. Okay. Thank you. This is so similar to the first tree. Um, if you, even though you know that, it was not a very known game, but I played and it was like you dug up memories and you progressed the story and got small history bits here and there. I mean, story bits, not history. <laughs> story bits from this uh, fox's past life. This butterfly allows me to see the hidden truth. Oh no. Now with its help, I'll know for sure whether something is true or false. I hate this butterfly. Is it over here? It looks very obvious that it's here. Okay, it was. Thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna check quickly back here. Maybe this is the way forward and I was just supposed to check the other. What have you done? You ruined my work! Uh, je suis désolé, madame. I didn't mean to. A thousand apologies wouldn't be enough to say how sorry I am that I dropped the whole tray with coffee on you. <gasps> Merde! Oh, whatever. Today's not my day, obviously. Can I somehow make up for it? I doubt that you know how to I handle a brush and oils. Way. And I have to deliver the work by tomorrow. I'll tell that I got sick. Maybe it'll work out and they postpone the deadline to the next week? What would you say if I take you out for a cup of coffee? Please, don't think that I'm trying to flirt with you or anything. I just feel terribly sorry for what I've done, and I want to make amends. My name is Josué. What about you? Michel. My name is Michel. You've already treated me to a cup of coffee. But so be it. I agree for a second one. If you promise not to spill it on me. I promise that not a drop of coffee will be spilt on you. I'll bring an umbrella with me. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? So now she is gonna breed with now someone. I got to do all the work from scratch. Please, oh my accept my apologies again for this terrible situation. I hope I can make up for it in person. We'll see. I hope another cup of coffee won't fall on me again. 
Is that it? We have more. Is that it? I mean, I guess I'll help you too. It's quite an unusual way to get acquainted with somebody, ruining their work. So, you're going to remind me about it for the rest of our lives? Of course. I need to get even with you for that somehow, after all. And who told you about our lives? Ah, fair enough. The waiter is quite clumsy, but maybe his clumsiness will play into his hand. He dropped the tray on the right table. No apologies can save Michelle's work, but probably this loss will be compensated with something equally, or even more important. A dude she can uh, make the, the the breed with and then have good life, is that it? I'm just trying to figure out how they intertwine the two stories. I must, I must be honest, I'm trying to be um, interested in where the story goes, but it's just not portrayed in a way where you go like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? It just seems like a very basic story. <laughs> like, there's not really much, and it's not, it doesn't have a depth to it that makes you go, well, I relate to it. Because writing can do a lot for just a ordinary, ordinary story. Did you ever think of, about, uh, did I ever think about what? They're gonna make babies now. Yeah, they're gonna... about an addition to the family? Are you talking about a pet? You know what a big responsibility that is. She wants a baby. Look, no, sitting with her legs spread and everything. An animal, she wants a baby. <laughs> what are you talking about then? Enough with the hints. Are you Spit dumb, David? Out. Stupid. I'm talking about a baby. I'm sorry. I'm just too tired. So, did you think about a baby? Elizabeth, sweetie. Let's talk about it later, okay? It's too late already. Okay. Whatever then. <laughs> well, it didn't go too well. Seems like David isn't eager to have children. It seems to really upset Elizabeth. Ugh. 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 It's the worst. That that balance there when you are um, loving someone, you're marrying them. And then you reach the point where you never discussed, like, about the freaking baby. And then she comes and be like, I want baby. And he be like, I kind of don't want baby. I kind of just want to be you and me, because that's working for me. And she be like, but I want the baby. And he be like, but that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> and then she be like, but either you give baby or I leave. And then he's forced to make baby. It's just such a common story. <laughs> I've seen it so many times. Rarely it goes the other way around where the dude wants the baby and the, the woman is like, oh, hell no. But often it's the woman who's just like, a baby, a baby, I want a baby. And then he's like, fine. Fine, if I can only have you with baby, then so be it. I will give the stupid baby. I hear weird sounds. It's definitely the wrong way. Excuse me, I'm just trying to look around. I'm pretty lost again. Where was the baby story? Here? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so freaking hot. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way because he's just gonna tell me. No, you're going the wrong way. And then he's gonna spit on me and be like. What are you doing? You're supposed to guide me the right way. Okay, I'll go up here one more time and then if I see nothing... I'm gonna uh, jump off. A see, it's down there. Okay, fine. See, it was the right way. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm bad at the game or if, if it's just not clear at portraying what it wants to portray. We're on track. We're back on track. I'm a wolfie. I'm good at tracking and I track back the right way. So let me show your face. Yeah, there he is! Oh my god, it's so hard to get that angle, but it's so, so cute. 
Can I get up here? Huh? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I could. Huh? Oh, or another rune stone. Can I do anything with that? I can look at it. Huh? This. Oh my god, I did not see that that was uh, <laughs> down. Give me that. Oh, this loophole crap again. Annoying. Okay, go. Go find the loophole, doggy. I saw one rock over here that looked a lot like it was a loophole. Not that way. It was another way. That, that one. Hey, it's this one, don't li- It's this one right here, why are you losing the power? Rude. It seems so random, like, when you lose the power and how. I'll do it faster this time, I promise. It'll be better, it'll be grand. I can do it, I can do it. Give me, give me, give me butterfly, give me eat, eat. Okay, go, go. Run like the wind, run, run. All right, come on, going straight for it, come on. I'm gonna cry if I lose it again. I must be here, yes, all right, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Salut Michel, it's Ellie. Do you remember me? I hope you don't mind me calling. Oh, Ellie! Hey! Sure, it's Ellie. I don't mind. I'm glad you're calling me so unexpectedly. Ellie. I was looking at our old photos, remembering how much fun we had together. So, I decided to call you. Hey, I'm wondering, why did we stop talking? We used to be very good friends. Why? I guess it's just as it usually happens with people. We grew up and then a lot of stuff started going on and we got less free time. Hey, would you like to go hang out sometime? Drink a cup of cafe and reminisce about the old times when we had fun together? Would you mind if I call you later, okay? I am a little busy at the moment. Oh. I'll help. I have enough balls to help. <laughs> Ellie! Hey! I'm here! Yes. Bonjour, Michel! Oh, you look so different. Oh, my so God. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Michel feels very lonely. This loneliness must be filled with something. Her old school friend called her just when she needs it the most. Okay, so now we're getting more Michelle. Okay, at least that's good, so that we know what's going on here with her. Jump! Jump. Because I was wondering, so, so Michelle is definitely not, like, David is not the parent of Michelle. <laughs> it was just a stretch. I was thinking, like, she was a baby, she kept being a baby, and then she grew up, and then it was different, okay. But yeah, it could have been. But definitely not, so the paths must intertwine in a different way that we will uncover i guess why do you always avoid talking about a baby you know how much i want one Ugh. elizabeth please stop it stop what david please let's just talk about it why are you avoiding it you know how much it means to me Please, tell me the reason why. Is it me? Am I not good enough for you already? Tell me, David. I want to know the reason. Elizabeth, I understand what you're feeling. No, it's not you. It's hard for me to talk about it because I'm worried about how you'll react. Just tell me. That's all. I'm not asking for anything. <clears throat> All right, please, try to look at it from a rational point of view. 
We can't afford to raise a baby. At least not right now. I'm having problems finding a job. I can't find the one I'm dreaming of, or even a normal one. I keep wandering from one to another, hoping to find something that fits me. I'm sorry, but we have to put that off for another time. Put that off? David, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. I'm out of patience. What about my dreams? Aren't they included in your plans? I've always wanted to have a happy family despite any difficulties. With you. You only. And you're telling me to wait. Elizabeth, it's necessary. Be patient a little. We will have everything. I give you my word. Ugh! I need to be alone. Horrors oh my god. are always I'm hard to endure. Especially with the closest people. Misunderstanding never ends well. They will have to understand each other. I'm sorry, but this hoe needs to chill the heck out. If there's no money, there's no money. Just don't freaking poop out a baby just because you have cravings, okay? I don't know. It pisses me off. She's so freaking selfish. So unbelievably selfish. Have she thought about the baby? How the baby will feel? Having nothing if they can't even afford it? Right. Think about the baby and not just yourself, you spoiled. David was a real melomaniac. In his free time, when he had a lot of it, the boy listened to different music from rock to classic. Cool. It just pisses me off with the... I mean, we're so many humans in the world already. And if you can't even afford to raise one properly and just add to the misery of existence, then... Then freaking wait! Oh my god, she's so annoying. If I was David, I would have left her ass already. <laughs> okay, no, I probably wouldn't, but... I think she's reacting very immaturely. Yeah. Can I die from this? Or can I fly from this? Oh my god! Woohoo! That's funny. So I can fly up and get the balls like this. It's fun. Let's do I it. I need to get upstairs somehow. How can I do it? Upstairs? What are you talking about? Maybe the geysers will help me get there. I just went down. Like, relax. I'm gonna get the balls first. These are geysers. They're very round. For being a geyser! Stop! Okay, I need to get the, the balls that I missed. Get the balls, grab them. Ah! Damn it. Try again. Try again to get the ball. Come. I got it, okay. Ah, my god. Okay, try again. I'm gonna run into it. Uh, you ran too far! I'm not happy. Not happy. Not happy. Good time. Not happy. Good time. Ah, uh, yes. I think that's it. Are you together again? What? We aren't. Yet. Yes. But we are working on it. Why are you so late? You didn't even call to warn that you're coming. What happened, David? It's nothing, Mom. Everything is fine. I just wanted to talk about it. Is, it... is everything okay with her? She's fine. It's just... She wants a child. Oh, I've been there, son. We had a lot of conversations about it. We went through a lot of quarrels and making up. And as a result, you came into this world. And I can tell you, those quarrels were worth it. I'm with your father on that. Give her time. Give each other time. You're young and there's a lot of beautiful things ahead of you. Let her know that you really love her. And everything will be alright. Don't worry about having a baby. Me and Dad will help you. Thanks, Mom. Dad, I needed your support. However,
However, I can't accept your help. I I'll deal with it myself. The words of a real man. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Go to her. Elizabeth is quite a nice girl. David seems to like her, given how shy he was when talking to her. However, still don't understand who they are. What? Why do I see them on my way? I hope I'll get all the answers. You already said Otherwise, this. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. You already said this. Why are you saying this now? There's a pit. I'm not going down to the pit before I'm sure that I got everything here. Oh, what the hell is that camera? Oh my goodness. I need to get all the balls. I think I got them. 